hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about tie with resources in java exception handling we'll try what is we'll try to understand what is tie with resources in java exception handling and we'll uh, see uh, an example as well right so here i have already created a project with name exception handling demo 14 and there you can see i have a one basically client class and uh, this class is not needed at all so that i'm going to delete it from this project so we have a one class and here you can see what functionality i have implemented so here basically i have a test.txt in my project itself directly this is a file text file and basically we are trying to read this test.txt uh, line by line and that's the reason we are using buffered reader and buffer reader takes uh, an, an object of file reader right and there you are passing the uh, file name right so this is a kind of uh, wrapper design wrapper uh, sorry uh, this is kind of uh, basically what do you say uh, decorator design pattern which is basically uh, here, here, which is basically used by the java.io package <coughs> okay so java 7 introduced a new form of try known as try with resources for automatic resource management here resource is an object that must be closed after the program is finished with it example of resources would be opened file handle database connection etc here you should note that any resources declared in a try with resource statement will be closed regardless of whether the try statement completes normally or with exception basically general form of try with resources uh, you have a try with resources statement is a try statement that declares one or more resources within parenthesis so here you will have to give the parenthesis and here you will have to declare the, all the resources if you have a one resource then of course you can directly declare but if you have a more than one resources then you can declare all the resources with separated with the semicolon right when using try with resources finally block is not required as resources are closed automatically as soon as try catch block uh, is executed right so example of try with resources uh, first uh, what we'll do uh, first uh, let's see how it it was done without try with resources before the introduction of try with resources we had to explicitly close the resources once the try block completes normally or with exception Usually, finally, block of try with uh, try uh, with a, with a try catch statement was used for it, right? And here you can see uh, I'm using uh, basically buffer reader in try block, and this buffer reader I'm closing basically in the finally block. And again, when you call close method, this is also throwing uh, an exception. So that's the reason I this this is also throwing IO exception. That's the reason I have again nested try catch, right? Uh, again, we have a try catch within the finally block so here you can see a lot of boilerplate code just six for closing a resource right in the finally block so you can note here how finally block is used here to close the file handle we had to write one whole block just for closing the resources and they are again wrap the code in the try catch block right try with resources helps in reducing boiler uh, boilerplate code uh, let's see same example using try with resources in java so how we so basically i'm going to refactor this code here i'm going to remove this finally block and re, instead of finally block we are going to use or try with resources to uh, resource management or closing this resource first of all one thing you will have to keep in mind whatever resource you are going to declare in the try with resources make sure that that resource uh, that resource uh, implements auto closable interface right so here this class basically extends reader class and if you look into the reader class a reader class basically uh, implements closable interface and finally closable interface extends auto closable interface that means buffer reader uh, implicitly implements a uh, basically auto closable interface so that's the reason buffer reader we can use as a try with resources so what I, i'll do i'll write a parenthesis over here and here i am going to declare my resource so this is our resource that we are going to declare within the beside to the your uh, basically try block and now this is the declaration is not needed at all 
and this is also I'm going to delete and you don't require this finally black finally block at all so this finally block completely I'm gonna remove from here okay so so one more parenthesis will be there so control a to select all control shift f for formatting and here you can see after refactoring the code how it look like so if I run this project this should work perfectly fine and here you can see we are able to uh, basically read a uh, file using uh, try with resources even right so uh, how resources are closed automatically right so any resources that is used with try with resources uh, is closed automatically uh, because of the interface auto closable right auto closable interface has a close method and any resources used with try with resources should implement the interface and provide implementation for the close method so basically <coughs> buffer reader basically implements auto closable interface and that provides implementation of close interface and that clo uh, that close method and close method is automatically called by the jvm at runtime and that's the reason you don't need to call a close method explicitly now when we talk about the try with uh, resource management then some of the uh, key points you need to keep in mind so these are the basically important points I have listed over here try with resources so first point saying that try with resources in Java helps in reducing the boilerplate code by providing automatic resource management that already we have seen second point try with resources here is no need of having a finally block just to close the resources right now third point says any resource that is used uh, with try with resources is closed automatically because of the interface java.lang.auto closable right so because that interface implements auto closable and uh, and if if your resource uh, basically implements auto closable then that resource has to provide the implementation of close method and that close method basically called by the jvm at runtime and that resource gets closed automatically and that's the reason we don't re require a finally block to just to close the resources right now next point you have a multiple resources can be opened in the try with resources statement separated with the semicolon if you have more than one resources then of course you can declare try with resources and every resource should separated with the semicolon now last point try with resources along with another feature introduced in the java 7 that is called multi catch statement helps in reducing the number of lines in the code and increasing readability and that already we have seen in the previous video tutorial right how we can handle multiple uh, exception within the single catch statement right so that's all uh, uh, that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you really enjoyed learning this topic try with resources in java uh, seven features with respect to exception handling so guys if you really like this video then uh, hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel